Hello, welcome. My name is Prasad Yalamanchi from Lead Semantics, a Chapel Hill, North Carolina based AI solutions company. Today, I would like to introduce Text Distill, our neural language processing pipeline. Text is an important source of knowledge in the enterprise. Memos, contracts, news, emails, research articles, financial reports, meeting minutes, web chats, and many more are all examples of text. Text is still takes unstructured text documents as input and produces facts of knowledge as outputs in the form of RDF triples, which are then readily ingested into a standard RDF triple store. Anzograph database from Cambridge Semantics is our destination triple store. Extracting knowledge from text, such as the English sentence seen here, involves several important stages of computation. First, through pre-processing and normalization, structure like the tokenization, part of speech tags, and other lexical annotations are added to raw text. Next, semantic rules are applied to identify higher level concepts such as entities, subjects, objects, and basic grammatical relations, etc. Named entities such as person, organization, and relations between entities such as works for, located in, etc. are identified using classifiers based on fine-tuned transformer language models. Later, entities are linked to a knowledge base of known types and instance IDs of entities to ground the extracted entities into the target knowledge graph. Similarly, relations are mapped to the predicates in the target knowledge graph. In the picture, we can see that George Martin is recognized as person and Paris McBride as person and wife of George Martin. And Santa Fe is identified as a location and location located in New Mexico, another location. After the linking phase, entities receive a unique ID in the form of a URI or Universal Resource Identifier, which is a W3C standard. And the complete fact graph is formed ready to be populated into the RDF database. Text is still is flexible. You can configure rules to apply at the lexical and syntactic level as well as at the semantic level. Pipeline uses hybrid architecture over linguistic rules and statistical models. It is parallel and scalable pipeline. Scales to hundreds of concepts like the many domain specific nominals that are to be treated as named entities and scales to hundreds of thousands of documents in execution. Neural models run as RESTful classifiers. Output of the pipeline is an RDF NQuad file, which can be loaded into any standard vendor triple store to be verified, ready to be federated with an enterprise knowledge graph. We will now show a short demo of text distill extracting triples from plain text documents using a simple extraction ontology with few concepts and relations shown here. The RDF superstructure is not shown here to reduce visual clutter. Concepts, person, location, organization, work of art, and predicates located in, is, from, represents, and about are going to be used. We will now run the demo. What you see here is fact check, a visual debugging tool connected to a running text distill pipeline. Demo here shows processing of text documents like the sample here. We will now load 25 such documents from the writer's corpus. Once the pipeline processing completes, documents are displayed on the left pane and simultaneously the extracted triples in the form of NQuad file is loaded behind the scenes into Anzograph database. We will now run a Sparkle query against the Anzograph database to pull all the triples from the newly loaded graph of triples and display the results in the right pane. This visual graph is the result of the Sparkle query against the RDF database. Each edge with subject, predicate, and object represents a triple extracted from the text on the left. Selecting the node of an edge in the visual graph highlights a block of text 
like a sentence in the left pane that produce the fact. For example, we can select a document and it highlights the title of the document in the left. We can select a triple in the document and see how the text that is highlighted can be the basis for such a triple. So here the triple is Kiichi Miyazawa represents finance ministry and we can see if the highlighted text can be the basis of such a triple. So we see Kiichi Miyazawa and it says finance minister and so that can be the basis for such a triple. We can check another right here. We have another block of text that is highlighted here. Mr. James J. Gam is representing Senate Banking Committee. So we can see if J. Gam is in here, is J. Gam ranking Republican on the Senate Banking Committee. And so we can see that that can be the basis for this triple. This interactivity between extracted triples and the source text helps analysts to visually inspect and evaluate the effectiveness of the linguistic rules and the statistical models in play in the pipeline and further enables debugging and updation of the rules and the classifier thresholds as necessary. This brings to close the short demo showing knowledge triples being extracted from plain text such as news articles and further loading them into a standard RDF triple store to be queried through Sparkle for various applications like the fact check here and other BI tools for analytics, etc. I'll now pass it on to Mr. Thomas Cook, Director of Sales at our partner Cambridge Semantics of Boston. They develop and sell Anzograph database, which is used as a destination triple store for the text distill pipeline shown in this demo. Thomas. Thank you, Prasad. My name is Thomas Cook, and I'm Director of Sales for Anzograph DB here at Cambridge Semantics. And when you set out to create an enterprise knowledge graph, it's important that the knowledge graph database can scale and perform. And that's exactly what we've created with Anzograph DB, a massively scalable in-memory distributed graph database offering horizontal scalability to handle any data volume. If you, you simply add additional nodes to a cluster uh, to scale up additional data volume or additional workload. We also offer the ability to connect directly to over 200 different source types, uh, including data virtualization. We offer the fastest data loading at up to 250 gigabytes per hour per node. We also offer a very rich library of analytical functions on top of the Sparkle 1.1 standard, including graph algorithms, data science algorithms, BI and data warehouse style analytics, inferencing, geospatial, and the ability to write your own custom user-defined extensions. I also want to call out some of the analytical benchmarks that we've published on our website. You can see here against Neo4j, a leading graph database. We were 217 times faster against Spark SQL and Spark graph frames, anywhere from 10 to 300, 300 times faster. Uh, those are both using the TPCH benchmark, an industry standard data warehousing benchmark. And then the middle one is the Lehigh University benchmark. This was a trillion triple data loading benchmark. Uh, we were 113 times faster than the previously published benchmark. These are all available on our website to learn more about those. But Ansograph DB is a, is a standalone graph database that has a programmatic interface. You, have, you can download a free edition up to 16 gigabytes of processing. If you're looking for a more integrated platform, our flagship product is Anzo. It's a knowledge graph platform gives you the ability to automatically onboard, model, blend, and access. That's the design pattern for 
creating and managing an enterprise knowledge graph. Onboarding is the ability to point and click and automatically ingest data from over 200 different source types to automatically catalog that data, create an ontology, and then gives you the ability to automatically connect these different data sources together and blend those in different ways for different use cases and create what we call graph marts for different analytical use cases. You can then create BI dashboards or export the data to other uh, downstream analytical processing tools. So this is a enterprise platform for creating and managing enterprise knowledge graphs. It gives you the ability to plug in different NLP tools such as text to still uh, or you can use Anzo Graph DB as a standalone database to take the output of text to still and load that directly into Anzo Graph. I wanted to share with you some of our customers and use cases of these different uh, knowledge graphs where they're using both structured and unstructured data to create enterprise knowledge graphs for different use cases. Here at Point72, a major US hedge fund, they're doing trade surveillance. At Merck, they're doing drug discovery and drug development. At the FDA, they've created a 360 degree view of uh, drug products. And at Bosch, they're using a uh, knowledge graph for digital twin. I wanna thank you, Prasad, for having us today.